My pole saw quit working suddenly, poof. And I'm gonna show you the first thing that I try that almost always fixes an electrical tool whenever it stops like that. So this electric pole saw just quit working one day. I picked it up and it didn't work anymore. And with electrical tools and appliances like the iron that I did previously, it usually is because of two places in the cord. This thing holds the cord down so it can't be pulled out, but it puts a lot of stress on the cord. And where the cord enters the tool, there's also a lot of stress. So what I do is I take it apart and I cut out the area where the short could be between those two pieces. Now this rubber support piece usually keeps the wire from flexing uh, too much so it doesn't break. Uh, mine was broken apart. Uh, so I use a little five minute epoxy to reattach it. And once I put it in there, I just cut the wires to the right lengths and use some heat shrink tubing to connect those two together again. And remember, those are hot whenever you're done. Don't touch them. Put it all back in place and reattach all the bits and pieces that I pulled out of there, which are really very few. It's a, it's a very simple fix. And where that rubber thing was cracked, I used a little electrical tape just as some extra support. And then I plug it up and see if I manage to find a short. Boom. So it ended up being the electrical cord like I thought it was gonna be. And I have found that most of the time with some sort of electrical tool or appliance, like the iron that I did a little while back uh, and this pole saw, where the cord goes into the tool, there's a stress point somewhere in there, either right where it meets the tool or usually just inside, there's that piece that holds the, the cord so you don't pull it out. That's a stress point. And as you use it, the wire gets moved, it tends to create a short within that electrical cord. If you have an electrical tool that just flat stops, a good place to start is with that cord. Uh, it's, it's an easy fix, and most of the time, it actually fixes it, and it doesn't cost you anything at all. Thanks for watching. And let me know down in the comments if you have found this useful and it helped you out to fix one of your appliances or tools.